And like I said, Dominic and uh, Coach Mark Boris will be available uh, for one-on-ones here in just a few minutes. Uh, now on to football. For this week, we're at SMU. There will be a 7 p.m. kickoff central. The game will be on ESPN News. Uh, if you guys need anything regarding that game, just let me know. Uh, now I'm going to introduce our head coach, Curtis Johnson. First of all, I'd like to congratulate Dominique again. Golly, it's, it's just, you know, you don't get an opportunity to be around a national championship, especially indoors. It's happened so early. And this guy, you know, went in and he was down, but he wasn't out. He just won them all. And, man, congratulations. Is there anything I could do? You know, I got to get some of that. I got to shake your hand or something. We got to get some of that rub off on us. But, uh, you know, we played Army this past week. First of all, our injuries. Eldridge Washington with the foot is day to day. Richard Allen is still going through concussion protocol. And uh, Eric Thomas is day to day. So I hope I would have Richard and I hope I'd have all the three of these guys back. Uh, we went up to Navy, I mean, excuse me, the Army, uh, West Point. It was one of the most surreal places in the world to go to. You know, you just, you hear about it. I've never seen a mo more fantastic site to play a football game in. The cadets were outstanding. I mean, even after the game, they were congratulating us that we won. It was real great stadium. Coach Lumpkin did a great job. You know, he kept our defense off balance enough with an, enough formations in. You know, they scored some points. And, uh, you know, they were very, very prepared, well prepared, a really good team. You know, our, our defense played well for the most part. Our offense played better than, than they have been playing. They had a game-winning drive to, to win the game. I thought we played the end of the game was just outstanding. What a great feeling to win, to win on the road and to win in that kind of fashion with DeRocco with a walk-off field goal, who was, by the way, the special teams player of the week. Did you think at the start of the season you would have a kicker that was going to be named special teams player <laughs> of the week? So you were at our practice, too. You know what? No, you know what? I, I, I would say not. You know, you know, I got spoiled a couple years ago with Cairo. You know, and, and, and then for everybody else, we've just been, it's been I'm, I'm comparing everybody to Cairo. But just to say, you know, the perseverance that DeRocco, you know, he's gone through last year and even this year, you know, you know, I benched him a couple times in, in fall camp. I, I created competition for him and everything else. And, you know, to, to, to his character, he just came through. And, and when he was iced, I, I said, there's no way he's going to miss this field goal because I just know the amount of pressure that we all put on him. Tanner looked like he was struggling a little bit more with the finger on some, some easier throws. Was, was there ever a thought to, to maybe go back, you know, go, go to Jordy or, or Devin? You know what, we always thought, you always, when you got a, an injured player, you just don't know how injured he is. You don't know, I don't, I never know if it's, is it time for him to warm up a little bit more or is it time, you know, to go to someone else. But, you know, I thought we made the right decision. You know, he did struggle some, you know, I think as the ball got colder and it got heavier as, as we, as we got going, you know, so that's why I, I told him, hey, look, we got to score a lot of points early. But, uh, but, you know, in the end of the game, he came through and, you know, that's, that's to his character. Yeah, how much can that last drive help the confidence of the entire offense? Because there hadn't been a whole lot of that the last couple of years. Exactly. Them. I think it's just tremendous. You know, you, you look at, you know, going on the road, being on the road, being at a place like that, the place was packed. And, you know, it was just like they were all just cool under pressure. And it was a good mix, healthy mix of run and pass. And, you know, him with Tanner with the finger. And, you know, Bro made a couple good catches. Dontrell made some runs. You know, it was just one of those things that, you know, hopefully you, you can build off of. Coach, um, <clears throat> Sunday I'm watching a couple of NFL games. I see Orleans, Darkwa getting a lot of playing time for the Giants. Cairo Sanders, I think, made like five or six field goals for the Chiefs. So I'm thinking to myself, you know, that's a great thing for Tulane and for recruiting. What are your thoughts on that? You've got these guys who are really contributing at the NFL level. What, do you use that, those kind of tools to – Try to recruit when you when you're out on the road. Absolutely, you know Ryan Grant was another one who was. Uh, I watched a little bit of him on Sunday. Absolutely, they're all our kids. They're the kids that you know that were in our program. You know those were the guys with the with the bears of us going to, the, to our last bowl game. And I'm very very proud of what they're doing in the NFL. You know you can see where they they really belong there. They all those guys are played. They make a major contribution, and that's that's one of the main things that we use. You know we don't. You know, we hadn't had much history of that, but, you know, to see those kids, those three kids, and, you know, to, just to do that and, and see what For, uh, For, Fournette's doing and Forte is doing, and, uh, and, 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 and so it's just, it's just wonderful to see all those guys. CJ, you've always wanted to play a lot of running backs, and you have, and you probably always will, but is Dontrell the closest thing you have right now to you if you would call E? 
featured back. Yeah, you know, and he's the guy that I think we want to give the most carries to because he's the one with the best, probably has the best overall game. You know, Sherman is a speed game. The Cedric's been out. You know, I hope we can get him back fully. And, uh, you, you know, Ron's playing well, playing fullback and, 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 and tailback, so is Robert Kelly. But, uh, you know, I would say Dontrell probably right now is the healthiest and in, in, in all around he can do all those things that we ask him to do. Hey, CJ, uh, this isn't the best season to be on airline drive with the Saints right now, and obviously <laughs> this isn't the season you wanted right now either. Do you still lean on, on Coach Payton and Mickey and those guys and, um, you, they kind of bounce off each other when, when the things aren't going right for your program? Oh, absolutely. You know, I, I, I text them or, or call them or do whatever. I don't like to disturb them too much, but, you know, Sean gave me some good advice in the text a couple weeks ago, and uh, it, it was great. But, you know, those guys, don't they, they know what they're doing. I mean, they won a Super Bowl. They didn't forget how to coach. They didn't forget all the years of experience they have. They're just going through, a, you know, a little bit of a bad time right now. But absolutely, you know, whenever you have guys like that and you can lean on, those are the guys that, you know, I really need to lean on. And you never coach with him, but just talk about Coach Ryan. I know you've been around the Saints a lot there. What, 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 what do you think about, is that a right decision to get rid of a coach halfway through a season there when there's so much left in the season? You know, I don't know. I, you know, I, you're, you're absolutely right. You know, I, I've been around those guys a little bit, but, but since I've been gone, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know. I don't really know what's going on over there as much. I don't really follow my wife. She, she probably can answer better than I can because she follows them more than I do. But I hadn't gone to very many games. I hadn't watched very many practices. Look, I got problems of my own, so I kind of just keep it in, in perspective. Anything else? Oh. You know, you just talked a little bit about SMU and, oh, sorry. Uh, just how dangerous a one and nine team is. They're very dangerous. You know, the quarterback's a transfer from Texas A&M. He's very, very dangerous. They got a receiver, a freshman receiver. Now, look, I don't know how they got this kid. We like to have him playing for us, you know. I mean, they, they can run, the, they can score a lot of points in every game that they, that they, that they play in. The defense is, you know, pretty veteran defense, and they, they do a great job. You know, it's just been unfortunate they hadn't scored enough points. They scored a lot of points. They haven't won very many games, but, but they are a good football team. Very, very good. Every time you look, look on, at the film, it's a close, you know, it's a close loss or, or, or the one win. You weren't there long, but what do you remember about your time at SMU? You know, it was a good time. I like going on OMB Drive, and, and it, was, it was a good time for us. I coached for Tom Rossley, who was later the, the, the Green Bay Packers offensive coordinator. It taught me, it gave me a wealth of information. You know, it was a good place to be. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Tulane, just, you know, private school, private school fair, uh, uh, flair. You know, the people were very, very nice. I, I really enjoyed it, even though we didn't win any games. I lost every game. I did tie SM, but we did tie at Texas A&M and stop their winning streak. Thank you, guys.